So I'm gonna do a recording on surfing keys today, which is just like any other Vim-based browser extension like Vimium or Vimari, but this is way better and I will show you why. So just like Vimium or Vimari, you press F and you can target specific things to click on. For example, I clicked on, I can click on that. I can click on this image and then I can press X on the keyboard to exit out of um, to exit out of tabs and then I can also shift I can also go to different tabs by pressing shift R and E so that makes it a little bit easier aside from that things that I think that are really cool about this that I use pretty often is um, if you want to open up a new tab with something you can press a F and then that'll open up the new tab with the focus on the window. Let's say I wanna open up something, but I don't wanna focus on the window. I can press Shift C and that'll open up a new tab without opening up the window. And it kind of, it's pretty cool because it shows you at this, um, it'll show you, let's go to YouTube here. Let's say I want to um, let's say there's some options I want to click on. If I press something like, let's see, what am I trying to come up with? Okay, before we get to that, you can go up and down with U and D. And then for the fast moves and then for the slow moves, you can use K and J. I like it better than Vimari because Vimari you only can you can't really hold down on it it only like goes down a small portion at a time and for example other things like if you press C what's cool is that it'll show you the options down here for things that you can actually click on um, so a lot of the times like if I'm scrolling up and down and I want to scroll over at something on this side I can actually do that with other browser extensions if I press C and then S, it'll reset the scroll target. So now I can scroll down here. And then I can go back to here. I can change a scroll target with C and S. Another thing that's pretty cool about surfing keys is, let's see, there's so many. You can pr press V to go into Vim mode. So it allows you to have this come up and you press V again and I can like highlight the text and it'll save that amount of text. Outside of that, I'm just going to try to go through some of the features off the top of my head so that you guys can take a look later in your own time because there's so many different features here. Let's, let's see what else there is. Windows management. So for example, let's say I have another Firefox open and I wanna put this tab over to this Firefox, right? So I can press Shift W and then if I press this here, it'll send that tab over to this Firefox. Now, if I wanna send it back, I do the same thing and it goes back to that Firefox. And then there's also a pretty cool PDF viewer that allows you to use the surfing keys onto it. I'm not gonna show you in this video. But the last few things that I really like is also the Omni bar. So the Omni bar is, let's just go to it. The Omni bar allows you to kind of save your bookmarks easier. So let's say I wanna bookmark this page, I press A, B, and then and then I can type, let's say I want to put this into my Mac OS. Then I can press enter and I'll save this. I'm not going to do it here because I've already done it. And in the Omnibar, something that's kind of tricky to find out, unless you're a more advanced user, I guess, of surfing keys, is if you press Control N, um, you can actually go up and down on these tabs. And if you want to dive into a folder, you press control, I think you press control and then right arrow, like right caret. 
or was it shift? It's one of these. I can't quite remember which. I think it was. It should be shift. No, it should be control. Hmm. How weird. Well, anyway, I'm not going to get caught up in that, but <laughs> it should work. There's a, there's an option for that. And then if you're watching YouTube, so, so say I am in YouTube and I want to, I don't, I want to deactivate surfing keys. What I typically do is I can press P and I'll put me into pass through mode. So then I can press P and L to go down. Um, and, and use L to scrub through the videos. And oh yeah, going back to the Omni bar, if I want to go back to my bookmarks, then yeah, it, I can search my bookmarks with um, with search with search results. And then I can also just jump in to my bookmarks like this. And it'll be a little bit easier. So you press enter to go into the bookmarks and it'll only, sh it'll show you different pages. So this has only one page, but yeah, control, control carrot to the right is to go to the next page and enter is to enter into that page. So I think with that, that those are most of the things you'll use. You can also save your session. So if you press sh Shift Z, then you see here you can save the session and quit. It's kind of like in Vim, you can save the session. Um, shift Z, Shift Z, and then Shift Z and R to restore all your tabs from the last session, which is really useful. And. Yeah, I think that's mostly I want what I wanted to show. Is there anything else that's pretty cool that's worth showing? If you don't remember all of the hotkeys, you can press, I think you can press question mark and it'll pop up all of these hotkeys. Mainly the change school targets most useful Oh yeah, a few other things. If you want to go to a, if you want to go jump straight to a search bar, you don't have to press S. You don't have to press F and then Z, Z to jump to that. You can press G I. G will have you go to the first. To the first. G makes you go somewhere, just like in Vim. And then if you press G I, it'll go to the first search bar. You can also go to multiple search bars by pressing I. But here, there's only one search bar. So if you press I, it'll go straight to that search bar. Other cool things. So if I want to search on YouTube, for example, I press O and Y for YouTube. And I can search for Vimari, for, for example. And then if I press O and G, that'll help me search Google. O and D, that'll help me search DuckDuckGo. If I have, say, something saved, like for example, I'm here, I'm in Vimari, and um, and that's saved onto my clipboard. If I press G and then D, whoops, that's not what I wanted. If I press G, oh, if I press S and then D, that'll search what I have saved in my clipboard in to DuckDuckGo. And you can, of course, choose other things like Baidu. <laughs> Does anyone use Baidu? Google, GitHub, Stack Overflow. All of that is pretty useful. Oh yeah, and then if you press Y, that's another useful thing. You can capture Y Y will capture the um the URL of the page. Y I allows you to yank text of an input. 
You can also copy, I think there's a way to yank a picture. I forgot what. Um, you can press YG and it'll, capital G, and it'll capture the entire full page, which is really useful for if you're want if you if you're doing like anything UI UX related and want to take the whole page. But I mostly just use YY. So yeah, I hope you guys get a chance to play around with it. It's now I try to before before I figured out the scrolling element that was what was hindering me from um, really utilizing my keyboard 90 95% of the time. But yeah, now with this I can use my keyboard 99% of the time. It's just some websites, they kind of break. They are not very well um, coded. So, you know, if I, if I do press F, it just requires a lot to press. And uh, other things that you can, you can press too is Q helps you search for buttons. If you press Q, it'll only pull up the ones, the buttons on the page. So if I press Q, see, it only shows S, I guess this is what this browser interprets as buttons and F. Um, that that way you don't have to see so many targets on the page. And I typically will show you will help you look for drop downs on navigation bars, not navigation bars, but like search bars in HTML. So that'll help you um, locate those a little bit easier as well. All right. So check it out. Let me know what you think. And that is it.